Welcome to Cloud Native Network Functions with CNF Provisioner by Pantheon Tech. Visit our new page cdnf.io for more information on available CNFs. In this video, we demonstrate the capabilities of several CNFs developed at Pantheon Tech, such as THCP, NET44, IDS, and NETMON. These CNFs are running on top of a Kubernetes cluster deployed with Calico CNI for the management of network connections and with Network Service Mesh, or NSM for short, for high-performance data plane connectivity. The demo simulates a VCPE use case, in which a client from a private customer IPv4 network, here represented as the demo client virtual machine, is dynamically and on-demand provided with network services such as dynamic host configuration, address translation, port redirection, intrusion detection or prevention, and access control. Each network function is implemented as a separate, lightweight, cloud-native network function, or CNF for short, managed by a control plane agent built using the Legato framework. Data plane network connectivity between CNFs is provided by the network service mesh, with additional high-performance interfaces such as user space MEMIF or kernel space virtual-based TAP. CNFs and all the required Kubernetes resources are deployed and monitored automatically using our own CNF provisioner. The requested CNF network configuration is described in a minimalistic, high-level, declarative description modeled using protobuf and applied to the provisioner as a Kubernetes native CRD. CNF provisioner renders configuration for CNFs and the network service mesh. It also deploys resource instances in the proper order collect state information and statistics about CNFs and their interfaces. This gives the administrator an integrated and also a graphical user interface enhanced view on the state of the entire CNF network. Four virtual machines have been provisioned using Vagrant. Two virtual machines are used to run a Kubernetes cluster with one master and one worker node. The worker node is connected to a demo client virtual machine representing the customer inside a private IPv4 network, whereas the master node is connected to a demo gateway virtual machine used as a gateway towards external public networks. Interface of the demo client virtual machine and the default route are not initially configured. Thus, the client is not able to access the gateway and the public networks beyond. We start with only the network service mesh deployed, which will provide high-performance data plane connectivity between our CNFs. As a first step, we deploy the CNF provisioner. The provisioner is packaged and configured using Helm. The Helm template of the provisioner has been already rendered into a single Kubernetes manifest file, cnfp.yaml, containing the description of all the components and required resources of the provisioner. For example, the provisioner itself runs as a deployment with a single replica on the master node. Additionally, a so-called CNFP prober is deployed as a daemon set on every node to collect the state data and statistics from deployed CNFs. Now, let's have a look at the manifest file, vcpe.yaml, prepared to describe our desired vcpe scenario to the provisioner. First, notice that the CNF network is actually a custom resource and can be therefore submitted into the provisioner in a Kubernetes native way. For example, using the kubectl tool. The specification enumerates all the requested CNFs, customized using attributes specific to each CNF type, and then follows with the description of the network connectivity between CNFs, as you will see shortly. First on the list is an instance of the CNF DHCP, which will assign an IP address to our client. It is configured with an IP pool of 100 entries, even though in this demonstration we will only need one. DHCP is put into the affinity group labeled as auxiliary services, which will allow us to separate the CNF from more performance critical services. Next, we request an instance of the CNF span, which will mirror all traffic passing between the client and the gateway into the CNF netmon listed below. Netmon stands for network monitoring. The CNF runs Entobang to monitor and present statistics about the traffic passing through our CNF network. 
Next up is a very critical component, which provides IPv4 network address translation, necessary for the client to be able to communicate with hosts from public networks, NET44. It will be deployed in between the L2 network segments of the client and the gateway. A very simple yet high-performance firewall is implemented using BPP ACLs in form of DCNF ACL. The rules defined for this demonstration prevent hosts from public networks to access our client on well-known ports such as HTTP port 80. Next, we deploy CNF IDS running Snort to block any malicious activity coming from the outside towards our private IPv4 network. For CNF IDS, we have developed a DEC MEMIF library, which allows to connect Snort with other CNFs over high-performance, user space only MEMIF interfaces. The network connectivity between CNFs and physical interfaces is described to the provisioner individually for each L2 network segment. In this scenario, we have only three network segments, one for the private network, with the client labeled as client network, the second between CNF NET44 and the gateway, labeled as GW network, and the third with the mirror traffic from the traffic analyzer, named NETMON network. The client network has a star topology, with L2 switch in the middle, implemented by a VPP-based CNF. One switch port is bridged with the physical interface connected to our client, access to which is provided by another VPP-based CNF with DPDK support. The next switch port is attached to the CNF DHCP, and the third port connects to the chain of CNF span with CNF NET44. The segment is configured with IP address range 192.168.10.0/24. The provisioner will allocate an IP address for the CNF DHCP and CNF NET44, and additionally provide 100 IPs to CNF DHCP for dynamic allocation for hosts beyond the physical interface, such as the demo client virtual machine. The GW network segment is a chain starting with CNF NET44, continuing with CNF ACL, CNF IDS, and ending with a physical interface. The segment is configured with an IP address range 80808000/30, where dot 101 is already used by the gateway. Therefore, it is marked as reserved and not used by the provisioner for allocation. The NETMON network segment is a 2-CNF chain going from CNF span to CNF NETMON. This is an L2 only segment with no IP addresses assigned to its endpoints. Lastly, we configure CNF affinity, which means preferred CNF distribution across Kubernetes nodes as follows. The client network and GW network segments, including the CNF they contain, with the exception of CNF DHCP, are placed into a so-called DataPath affinity group, where the collocation and a minimum of internal connections is desired for maximum performance. CNF DHCP and CNF NETMON are placed into so-called auxiliary services affinity group and requested to be separated from the DataPath onto a different Kubernetes node, so that they do not have to fight over the same computational resources as performance-critical services. Now. Let's deploy the CNF network description as any other Kubernetes resource using kubectl. The description of the deployed network, exposed by Kubernetes, includes the specification that was just applied, but also the actual configuration of the network, which may differ if there was an error during provisioning, or if the specification is invalid and provisioner refuses to apply it. State information and statistics about CNFs and interfaces are also included. At the bottom of the description, we can see if the specification has been successfully applied and when was the description last updated. In this case, we can see that provisioner successfully deployed the CNF network and also that all CNF ports are running in its running state. The provisioner provides a very simple and read-only web user interface presenting the state of the deployed CNF network. The user interface is exposed through the node port service, which, in this vagrant-based demonstration, is port forwarded further into the host on port 3999. The user interface depicts each Kubernetes node as a red rectangle, 
We've deployed CNFs shown as blue rectangles with icons, portraying the CNF function. Ellipses inside CNFs are their MEMIF or TAP interfaces, while diamond shapes are used specifically for physical interfaces. Green on red border is used to tell if the interface link is up or down. Tooltips can be displayed to see the state of a Kubernetes node, SFC framework, CNF, CNF interface, or physical interface. Various HTTP GET parameters can be passed, for example, to turn on periodic autorefresh or to show incremental packet counters over CNF interfaces. Lastly, it is possible to highlight connections and CNS belonging to the same network segment. Now, let's demonstrate the services provided by CNFs in action. First, we go back to the demo client virtual machine to verify and confirm that the client has been assigned the first free IP address from the DHCP IP pool. Our DHCP cloud native function also configured the client to use the IP address of the NAT44 cloud native function as the default gateway. We will now test the reachability between the client and the outside world by sending ICMP echo requests towards the Google public DNS. Meanwhile, we should observe on the demo gateway virtual machine that the ICMP packets are source nated by the NET44 cloud native function. All traffic that flows between the client and the gateway is mirrored using the span cloud native function into NTOP and G based CNF NETMON for traffic analysis and visualization. The web user interface of the NETMON cloud native function is exposed via node port services which in this Vagrant-based demonstration is further port-forwarded into the host on the port 3000. Web UI allows administrators to observe visualization of the network traffic in real-time, display all active flows, lists all communicating hosts, and many more. Circling back to our demo client, we will request port-forwarding for the port 8000 from our NET44 cloud-native function using the port control protocol, or PCP for short. Using Netcat, we start listening on the forwarded port 8000. With the port now forwarded, it should be possible to connect to the server from our demo gateway. Coming up, we will request redirection from an external port 9000 to the local port 9001 using the Internet Gateway Device Protocol from the UPnP protocol suite, also supported by our CNF NET44. We will use Netcat again to start server listening on the local side of the redirected port. It should now be possible to connect to the server for the demo gateway using the aforementioned redirected port. The actions of port forwarding or redirection are implemented using the NET plugin from VPP. Active port mappings can be displayed using VPP command line interface. Next, we will request port forwarding for the HTTP port 80. Remember, however, that the access list CNF deployed next to CNF NET44 has been configured to prevent access to well-known ports. Accessing the client on the HTTP port from outside should be blocked, as we will now confirm. Lastly, we will demonstrate our Snort-based intrusion detection and prevention CNF. In our simplified demo, Snort has been configured with only two rules. One, triggering alerts whenever a packet is received from the Google public DNS and the other blocking any responses from the Cloudflare public DNS, thus preventing the client from using this DNS service altogether. Each echo reply received from Google DNS as a response to echo requests sent from the client triggers a snort alert, which is processed and pretty printed to standard out of the CNF IDS by Barnyard 2. Similarly, but with different actions and outcomes, each echo reply received from Cloudflare DNS as a response to echo requests sent from the client is dropped by Snort and the event information is processed and pretty printed to standard out CNF IDS by Barnyard2. This concludes our demonstration of Pantheon Tech CNFs interconnected using Network Services Mesh. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our new website cdnf.io for a list of available Pantheon Tech developed cloud-native functions.